welcome to MechWarrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we have the Cicada 3F um, dash L variant, the loyalty cicada. Uh, but it's basically just a Cicada 3F. A uh, squirrely mech, a very, very squirrely mech. It's a 40 ton medium. Um, at first, I actually thought it was a light mech because it plays exactly like a light mech. Um, but uh, it's a medium, so I really can't consider it a light mech. Um, the 3F comes with four energy hard points, and that's kind of on the lower end of the uh, of the hard points, because you know there's some mediums that have eight energy hard points, or some that have freaking 12. It's just uh, just a lower end there. Um, so let's take a look at the build. It's pretty simple. Everything's changed a bit. I've got a standard 255, which is um, it goes uh, 103.28 kph. It's not the fastest Cicada engine. Um, an XL would do you, um, you put an XL in here, it, it, a lot of people do, um, but that's what I have at the moment is, uh, 103.2 is not bad, it's not the fastest, but it's, uh, it's acceptable, um, it's, it's not, it's not that slow, um, you still, enemy still has a hard time hitting you. Um, we've got Feral Fibrous and Indo Steel. The four weapons that we have are the Medium Pulse Lasers. I decided to go with four of those, uh, two in each torso. Now, um, let's see here. Medium Pulse Lasers don't really have a super long range. Uh, the max range is 440 meters, but your optimal range is going to be 220. So you're going to be into a medium to close range when you're fighting. But the Cicada is a really squirrely mech, so um, once you figure out how to get in and get out without taking too much damage to your uh, to uh, crucial parts of your uh, mech, then you'll be fine. Um, and that, that can take some getting used to, and I still haven't gotten it down perfectly yet. Um, I'm still learning new things about the Cicada, um, or the Cicada, how, whatever you want to say. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, 35 points in the CT in the front. Um, that's pretty decent. It's it's just a... It's just a light... I mean, it's a, well, not a light. It's a medium Mac. It's a 40 ton Mac. Your arms only have 10 points. Um, I... They, the armor is definitely not maxed out. That's probably because I have a freaking standard engine in here. I don't have an XL, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. But I still want to show you how the, um, <laughs> I named it the Prototype 6. That's the name of this mech, the Prototype 6. Uh, I'm going to show you that the skate is still good no matter what. Um, even for a little 40 ton medium mech that only has four energy hard points. Um, as for heat sinks, I just have some standards. That's fine. It's not like you know. I'm not running a grasshopper here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's about it. Um, let's go ahead and take another look at this baby. And yeah, I like that. I love the design of the uh, cicada. It's pretty pretty decent. Um, yeah. Let's get to a match here. See you guys in the battlefield. Uh, Cicada uh, 3F uh, dash L on Grim Plexus. Uh, I need to change my weapon groups. I think they're all on one. There we go. I actually uh, like the cicada. I do. It takes me a while to warm up to uh, some of the uh, smaller, lighter mechs. Uh, hell, when I first started uh, Mech Warrior Online, I was uh, addicted to the Raven, um, the Raven 3L, 3LC, 2X, 4X. Uh, I think that was the first light mech I ever got. Was the Raven. Better than being addicted to the Arctic Cheetah like every other freaking new pilot there is. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm not.
thing about having medium pulse lasers and being in a light is that um, you just can't. I mean, I, I guess you could do anything you want, but you, like, I really need to know where the enemy's at. I need to um, just make sure that every shot that the enemy takes at me um, is either going to miss or it's not going to impact me. I just... think uh, and sometimes you have to wait I don't know if that makes sense of what I said but I, it, sometimes you have to wait it out and that can get boring you know especially in long range battles and I, I say this all the time um, when you've got medium to short range weapons sometimes you have no choice but to wait um, especially if your team isn't on the move Looks like we got some action over here, and this was where my, the hopefully the battle will take place, um, in the center here. Let's see what we got going. Go. We got a uh, got a raven down there. What is he doing? I'm gonna go after him. Usually you wouldn't chase the uh, the rabbit or chase the squirrel, but I'm in a cicada, so he's going around. I'm going to try to... Uh, let's cut him off. Let's cut this raven off, and hopefully we can run head-to-head -head with him. That'd be nice to have a little mech-on-mech -mech action here. Oh, there he is. Here we go. And the circling begins. On Raven, what do you got? My medium pulse lasers are going to eat through your armor. And you are being locked on by LRMs from uh, my friendlies. You big dummy. God, all right, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. That was a little bit of fun right there. Uh, wow, looks like the enemy is uh, pushing towards the middle pretty hard. I need to get over here and get some cover so I don't get shot out in the open. Damn, they are uh, right up on us too. I need to be very careful. Don't. I can't really take, you know, too many hits. We're experiencing some losses. Don't get sloppy out there. Oh, oh, we'll get down. Very, very squirrely mech. Oh wow, that Ibn Jag was staring right at me. I moved just in time not to. Well, I still got hit, but. I could have taken more damage.
these down. Surrounded. We are surrounded. They're all around me. The enemy is everywhere. Come on. Uh, he's down too. Some full health Kodiaks right sitting right over there too. That's gonna be a big problem. Firebrand. Alright, Firebrand is down. We just took him out. These Kodiaks need to be dealt with. Uh I don't know how many there are. Is there just one? Go over here. I think I'll just stay right here for the moment. I probably need to help out my teammates. No! Oh. Oh, I'm taking shots. I'm taking shots. I'm taking shots. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. We're behind, too. I don't. Try to pull this off. Stay between these two barriers for a second. It's shielding me at the moment, but I really need to get out here and help my teammates. Oh no. And I've only got two medium pulse lasers left. Alright, he's down. Uh. Eh. close to him. If I can get close to him, maybe. Go for that shoulder. Ah, we just blew his shoulder off. Alright. He's slow. I'm faster. But I also got other, other mechs around me. Okay, going backwards is not a great idea. Since I don't my mech is about done. It's almost fried. Since I don't have any weapons in my arms, uh, those are actually good to use as shields. Although they're not arms, they're more like plates, kind of like armor plates. But um, I'm so, that Kodiak's almost done too. I wonder if I can get him. He's almost down, just like me. Who knows? Oh, they got me. Well, that was a nice run. We did a pretty good run in that cicada. I mean, we, we, we tore their team up. It was a close game. 700. It's 16 damage. Which is pretty good for a little 40 ton mech. 716 damage. We almost took out their team. It was a close call. But, yeah, guys, that was the Cicada 3FL. If you have the 3F, use it. If not, if you have the 3FL, use that too. Or just try out a new Cicada. Um, they're not bad mechs. They're actually a lot of fun. And uh, you guys have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. Fuzzy Nova, out.